welcome back to Summer Zoo Homestead. We will be pulling up some peanuts. That's right, pulling up peanuts and getting the garden. Just finished cleaning it up. Kind of, we're gonna figure out how we want to kind of put it to bed for the winter. Uh, stuff like that. We also have crops that we are going to be planting. Finally, we are late, but better late than never. So we've got some um, mainly brassicas. I know we've got cabbage. I think we got collards. We're going to check to see how much of our, whoa, we got a huge pepper. I think I picked this one and it fell out of my hand <laughs> or it broke off when I was pulling up tomatoes yesterday but that's a nice size pepper anyway um check to see how many volunteer uh broccoli have come up because we do have several of those that started to come up i don't know if the cabbage worms decimated them to the point where they're just not going to survive so need to do an inventory on that and figure out what else we're going to be growing um we are probably going to go ahead and get our carrot seeds planted and started in the raised beds because our temperatures are low enough to where they're going to germinate now and yeah we're going to go from there we're going to see this is going to be a busy garden day so let's get started you loosen up the soil before you pull out your peanuts and we're going to do that by pulling out weeds pull them out and then we'll throw them in the pathway for this a lot of the weeds i've already pulled out I see peanuts popping up with some of these. Really? Yeah. Oh, I don't see any. Oh, oh, it'll be a surprise for you. <laughs> um, we got peanuts all the way over here. And some weeds. You wanna come pull these weeds? There's a weed. So I wanted to show you this. If you're not familiar with the way that peanuts grow, uh, Joe has talked about this in some of the other videos that we've done is updates on the peanuts, but they will flower with these little yellow flowers on the top. And then they send a spike down into the ground. And that is basically a new root system where they're going to produce peanuts. So fascinating plant really is. Uh, most of the peanuts that we're finding are right at the base of the plant down here where the main root structure already is. But um, this is the other thing we're kind of running into, which is why I think we may have waited just a little too late, is several of them have broken open and started to sprout. So uh, not a horrible thing, but definitely something we're going to remember for next year. Yeah, they like those. You want to start pulling peanuts? Yeah. All right. This is a purple peanut. We have never found one. It's white and purple. It's a pretty cool peanut. We can call that Joe's special peanut. It's a special peanut. <laughs> and it just looks pretty good. Uh, I wonder how the nut is going to taste inside of it. Mm. Let's we'll see. Need to come out. So if you're just now following us to catch you up to speed, this is the first year we've ever grown peanuts. And the reason we're growing them is because Joe was with me one day in a feed and seed store and we were picking up something else, saw peanuts and wanted to buy them so that he could grow them. So these are Joe's peanuts. First time we've ever grown them. We have no idea what to expect. He's been super excited this whole summer watching them grow. You got some? peanuts <laughs> watching them grow and so this is a very exciting day for us look at that whoa look at these peanuts that is crazy yep some of these have started to rot so we probably waited a little bit too long but there's some of these that are really good so let's put our peanut let's just make a stack over here and I'm going to start with this back row, okay? Okay. Eight. All right, we're going to pull them all out now, okay? Whoa, Daddy! That's my Daddy! Whoa! We're going to have so much peanuts, Daddy! I hope 
right, so so look, when you look at those. All right, so when you pull them out, Joe, what? you want to kind of dig around in the dirt, kind of like we do with potatoes, just to make sure none of them got left in the dirt, okay? Looks like all of those came out. Oh, peanut! <laughs> I love the peanut in the dirt. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these little peanuts are like that. We're gonna um, let's put the individual peanuts. No, we'll lose those. Um, oh, there's something that has green beans in it. Over there. Yeah, why don't you go bring that over here. Uh, wow. This one's a heavy one. Big one, too. So whenever you plant something for the first time, the first year is just a learning year. Sometimes they do really, really good. Sometimes they don't. But the whole point of growing something for the first time is to begin to learn how to grow it. So that next time you can do a better job and learn nope. from your mistakes. Daddy. It was growing another peanut plant, that one too. So that's a sign that we let them go a little bit too long. So maybe next year we'll have to harvest a little bit earlier. Okay. Because a lot of these have some that are starting to sprout. Oh, Daddy. I think I just found. A bug in here, in here, in my whole house. Oh, it's pro it might be a mole. We had some moles get in our garden, but I think since Jeff has been hanging out in here, they I haven't noticed them as bad. So it might be just an old tunnel. So most of the weeds that we have growing in our garden is chamber bitter, which if you don't know, it actually is a medicinal, but it is so prolific. So we're not trying to like save it for medicinal. If we ever needed it medicinally, then we could just go find it pretty much anywhere in our yard <laughs> so or garden um, the reason it's so prolific fun fact is it will go from germination to producing seeds in just two weeks so it is a fast growing weed that quickly take over an area thankfully they're fairly easy to pull up so josiah since these are your peanuts, you get to decide what we're going to do with them. Mm. So what do you want to do with them? We could boil them, we could roast them, turn them into peanut butter. What do you think you want to do? I think we're just going to keep it in our peanuts. Well, all of those are peanuts, so what do you, what do you want to do with that? Do you want to roast them? Yeah, I want to roast them and eat the things and stuff. Roast them and eat the peanuts? Yeah. That's how, when we buy them at the store, they're roasted. Those are roasted peanuts. So you think that's what you want to do with these? Yeah. Okay. Whoa! That's like peanut decoration right there. It's like a peanut tree. Yeah. It's like... Oh, oh no, it's like a Nakina church. <laughs> uh, whoa, that looks like, whoa. <laughs> it's got one popping out of it. Yeah, that's... The shell didn't even crack, it just cracked its way out. Here is something that I found in the ground. It's growing, and oh, here's a little peanut that tried to sprout. Is it growing straight? Yeah. Or spirally? Spirally at the end, the beginning. Then it gets straight. I don't know what it is, but it's a plant. <laughs> it's a peanut plant. Yeah. Oh no. What? I see more peanut leaves. I just don't know where they're coming from. Let me go. There it is. <laughs> Don't pull it out. Josiah! Oh no, Jenny! A leaf is yellow! It's okay. That just means, that's kind of the plant's way of saying, okay, we're done. You can come harvest our seeds.
Do you know plants talk to you? Yeah. Yeah, they'll talk to you and tell you how they're doing, if they're sick, or if they're healthy, ah. or if they're done growing, all in the way that they look. If their leaves have spots on them, that can tell you that, hey, I'm sick, or, oh, I'm too much sun, or sometimes it can be just that there's pests on them, and they're saying, hey, something's eating me. That is just saying, hey, I'm done. It's worn out. It's stressed out from the summer, and it's kind of like, okay, we are done. And when they're done, this, that's their invitation for you to come harvest them. That so, one's way too hard. <laughs> so plants talk, but you have to listen, and you listen by watching. So Joe was super excited about all those peanuts. I'm super excited to see how many peanuts we got. It looked like there were a lot, so. Uh, yeah. I am really excited about making boiled peanuts with those peanuts. Ooh, so she doesn't know. Uh-oh. Joe, the peanuts are 100% Joe. Yes. Like so we weren't even going to grow them do. except for Joe. We had a conversation. It's in the video. Oh. Huh. You guys know she doesn't. I don't because I wasn't here. Yeah, so Joe wants to do roasted. Okay. That's, That's what he said. That's fine. We'll do what Joe wants to do. Yes. <laughs> Maybe we can talk him into some boiled him. peanuts. <laughs> <laughs> no, that that's fine. He'll do whatever he wants to do. So I'm really excited just to see what he does with them and to try them. So that's really fun. Let's get into highs and lows. Highs and lows. So my high was that Joe and I planted the garden today. We finally got, I finally got to spend some time in the garden planting and Joe came out and helped me. He helped me spread the straw for a little bit, but then he decided he wanted to plant wanted to plant so he planted all the cabbage and I planted the collards good yeah I'm excited about that yeah so it was fun just some good time in the garden with him and so that was great my low is probably just that Joe was sick for most of the week um, he had a really bad cough it was just it's hard having a little one not feel good but also when you have like work to do that's difficult as well yeah definitely. so he was he was good it's it just took a lot of my time, so. Yeah, my low would be the same. Um, also, the project I was working on for work was just kind of never gained traction. I mean, it's not a bad, like it's not going bad. It's just, it was, it's one of those, it feels like it's kind of dragging, mm, you know? Not fun. Um, and yeah, sometimes that just happens. I think my high is probably just this weekend, working in the garden and joe is feeling better so that is a high definitely but yeah working in the garden getting a lot done finally in the garden and the rain yeah we have had some really just good steady long rain and we were in desperate need of that yeah the flowers look so good i'm sure it's because of the rain <laughs> they're just i've enjoyed them this weekend <laughs> and we kind of have our swirl back yes we have our swirl back our hey we're doing highs and lows do you want to do highs and lows no. You don't want to say you're high and low? What's your high? Um, I'm feeling better. Yeah. And that we got the peanuts done. And my low was nothing. Nice. Good week. Good job. Okay. Okay, before we close out this video, if you missed our Farm Where You Live series, the videos we put up this past week, be sure to check those out. Yes. Because the people that we talk to really are a wealth of knowledge and worth checking out. Yeah, for sure. And I want to say there were so many people knowledgeable in what they do at Farm Where You Live. We just obviously can't get around to all of them. So yeah. those are just the ones that we were able to connect with in the time that we had. Yeah. So, but as always, thank you for joining us, for following us on our homestead journey. We hope you have a great week and be blessed.